using 15 pound density high density urethane foam to carve this little chicken here. I enlisted the help of my son to go ahead and it was a trade off really. It was a supper for him if he sketched in these little lines for me off of this contour shape. He did a fantastic job and now I'm going to begin the carving. When I'm carving, whenever possible, I like to set my carving tools down on a towel. And the reason is, I don't want them rolling off and hitting a hard floor surface that's going to mess up the edge on my tools. In the lower left, I have a nice leather strop, which definitely comes in handy and will be used quite often. This HDU foam, while it's soft, and it's easy to make the cuts something about its chemical composition does dull your tools pretty rapidly so you've got to keep uh, and know how to maintain and keep your tools sharp and what I want to do these dark areas are going to be my more recessed areas so the trick is I have to remember that even though this is only a half inch thick that I've got to make this look domed okay so I'm going to begin by moving, removing that is, some material around here. And I'm going to work on some stop cuts. Stop cuts are just lines that I'm going to cut 90 degrees down this way or straight down and then take a chisel to do my push cuts in toward it to build dimension. If you'll pardon me whilst I put on my visionary aids you can see we've got the you see the deep stop cut that's over here to make these planes converge and you'll see as we go along how this is going to bring this little chick to life for some of these close in areas I'm going to use a flat a small flat chisel And you have to be careful with flat chisel. One of the things you got to remember is you can't remove too much material at one time because we only have a half inch to work with. So we got to watch that. Now this is a push cut where you make a stop cut and you simply, I mean obviously, push your chisel in toward that cut and then you just pop it out. I'm going to get some more of this going on and we'll come back to it. Now after a few minutes we can see some of the details of the carving begin to emerge and we're starting to get that sculptural look. It's a series of one plane running into another. We're going to begin to round this off and we're going to round this as well. I'm starting to lose some of the details of my drawing because I'm left-handed and so as I'm working I'm rubbing this off so I'm gonna probably at this point take a ballpoint pen and uh, redraw some of these things alright folks we're building some some detail in here and uh, in fact I'll zoom up a little bit and I got the little veining tool started making some little texture and stuff like this but she's starting to shape up I'm going to readdress this part on top, this crest. I don't know what you call it, but anyway. Uh, and these, we call these grapes. I don't know what the real name of it is, but anyway, this eyeball I'm going to do last because I'm going to make it spherical if I can uh, or round it off. 
but uh, that's where we are. We're keeping on, keeping on. Got on Facebook tonight and saw uh, something that a friend of mine's working on. Oh, Alan Hobbs with Freedom Bushcraft. Check him out. Alan makes birdhouses, and the birdhouses he makes are not your average everyday birdhouse. The detail and care that he puts into these birdhouses is just insane. Uh, and he takes orders for them. So if you know anybody needs a good gift, a fine birdhouse, uh, look up Alan Hobbs on Freedom Bushcraft right here on YouTube. All right, so... I got a little carried away and I kind of lost track of time, but I wanted to bring this in closer and show you that I pretty much got the head detail uh, pretty well done. Um, this is not a carving that's going to win any awards or anything, it's just a functional carving. For a sign that we're working on at the sign shop I work at. A little more of the body now. We're starting to add some finer details and trying to get some surface texture. We've gone ahead and rounded the eye off. I just couldn't take it. I had to do it. And this is what we're doing to build our texture. I'll show you what I mean about that cut. I've gone ahead and made some stop cuts. I'm just going to take this chisel pop it out. Here's another one. Position this light, need a little more light on the subject. Doing this at night, and uh, the story about this is that I've got a customer that uh, wants a Christmas gift, and uh, it's for I think her significant other or something. I don't know, but they they've got a little chicken farm, and uh, so we're. We're making this sign for them. We're rushing it. Um, as it goes, uh, with a lot of businesses, you don't always have the time uh, to do things the way you would like to. So you just do the best with, with uh, time you have. In this case, we're doing it for a place called Stormy Ridge Farms, and it's a chicken farm. Maybe I'll be able to show a picture of the sign, or at least the sign in progress. If you ever think about it, you know, you may ask yourself, why don't chickens wear underwear? You ever thought about that? Why? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's because their peckers are on top of their head, so, you know, enough said there. Lighter pressure to make fine lines, heavier pressure to make bolder lines. Okay, now at this stage, we pretty much have the body complete. 
the only thing left to do really is going to be the uh, the feet and it's kind of late tonight so I think I'm going to call it a night and pick this up tomorrow what do you say bok 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 well hello guys the carving is completed uh, I finished it up this morning in the shop sorry I wasn't able to film the final stages of carving the feet and so forth but it's it's a busy day I work in a very busy shop and you gotta move and so here's the end product this is our little chicken Da, da, da. And what I did was just simply did a. Oh, only thing I left I have to do. Where is it? I got to put a little white dot in that pupil right there. But um, but yeah, used a little dry brushing technique on it and uh, based it out in gray, and then uh, came in and added white and. Uh, base the, the red parts over here in a brown and come back and do that. That way you get a little more depth there and definition. Feet, same deal. Based it in uh, brown then came back with my ochre, yellow ochre colors. But there we go. It was a rush carving. Let me get out of the way. It was a rushed carving for some nice people given this away as a Christmas gift so I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit different from, from what I normally do but uh, I enjoyed doing it thought maybe you guys would like to see it too the only thing that it was lacking was a dot in the eye and let me show you what that one little difference makes gives it a soul doesn't it as you know, I carve spoons, but occasionally I have to carve other stuff too. And give it a try. From Donnie Pavlini Outdoors to you and everyone, have a Merry Christmas, have a safe Christmas, and we'll see you in the woods. Take care.